Y'all remember when Cardi ducked out on the Nardwar interview at Rolling Loud a while back? Or was it at Lyrical Lemonade? One of those. One of those. I think it was Lyrical Lemonade. He wouldn't do the interview with Nardwar. He, uh, he just pulled out with his black truck and Nardwar was waiting for him. And that would have been the most hype interview. But now we know why. Because, or at least I guess this is my opinion. But I think it's because he thought he was too big for Nardwar. And I understand Nardwar has, uh, you know, a Jay-Z interview. Like some of the all-time greats. He got Uzi. He got multiple with Uzi. He got, he got basically interviews with everyone interesting. Including Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson. And so that proves that like Cardi kind of or his management and him kind of approve that his artists do an interview with Nardwar because why would he let his artists do that and then not do it himself? The only logical explanation is that he thinks he's too big for it. You know what I mean? Like he's too famous. Yeet interview with Nardwar. Has he done a yeet? That would be a cool one. Nah, he's just so fake mysterious. That's why he ain't do it. But he did the fit check. And then he went on Aiden Ross. But you're right. I think that if he went on Nardwar, there'd be too many questions. And also, Nardwar always brings up like specific facts that nobody's supposed to know. And so maybe he didn't want his dirty laundry to be brought up in the interview. Like Nardwar comes out and be like, Yo, uh, so, um, <laughs> homicide. And then Cardi's gonna be like, what? He's like, you did a homicide with Homicide Gang four years ago, right? He's like, wait, hold up, what? Or just some embarrassing shit, you know what I mean? So, here, let's see, this is a sneak peek of Ken and Thank Lee. you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> no! Hey, Mr. Burns, that's, hey. Who's Mr. Burns? Does anybody know who that is? Nah, yo, shout out Mr. Burns. That's my, uh, that's my piano teacher from high school. Yo, what the f <laughs> Bro, he needs to be a detective. The way he be finding out this information. Like, how do you even, like, go find that shit out? You gotta go to Destroy Lonely's, like, friends and parents and... And teachers, like you got to go to a, down a whole long list of suspects, let's say, to find out shit like that. <laughs> yeah, bro, shout out Mr. Burns, bro. I used to skip class and go to his class every day. <laughs> it made music, bro. That's hard. That's a pretty cool piano. Yeah, bro, but it wasn't even about the piano class. I wasn't in there doing the class. He just knew I would like to make music, so he'll let me skip. And like, it was a studio in school, so he'll let me skip and act like I'm in his class and go record music in the studio. That's why, because he was just, he let me rap all day. Thank you, Mr. Wow. Shout out my, Mr. Burns, for real. Mr. Burns better get like a royalty check from Destroy Lonely for letting him develop as an artist while skipping class, you know? Cardi only did the fit check because of the Twitter hate from Nardwar situation. Let's be real. And he only did Aiden for the two mil and left. I thought it was like 200K for Aiden. I could be wrong. Uh -huh. I feel like he did the fit check because his brand is more about fashion. And less about talking and specific information about him. So that's why he didn't do Nardwar. So it kind of makes sense. Like he's really mysterious. Or at least he tries to be. And another thing is, I mean, we already saw him on the Aiden stream. He was low-key autistic. Like Aiden would ask him questions like, so like you working on the album? Like what you doing? He'd be like, thank you, Aiden. I love you. My fans, I love you. And then he just go back to like dancing to his music. You know, so if he was in a Nardwar situation where he had to talk more than two sentences in a row, even more than one, I could see why he wouldn't want to do that. Plus, he's not supposed to like when he pops out, it's like almost an event. You all know this. Whenever you see him in public, like that gets posted online, like he's an A-list celebrity type shit, even though he might not actually be. I don't know what classified as a what's classified as an A-list celebrity anymore. But so it would kind of, if, if people heard him talk, 
the Aiden situation even made sense too because he didn't talk. So it just added to the lore. But with Nardwar, I don't know. It depends. Depends how it would go. It might be too much of a brand risk for his mysteriousness. Cardi is not autistic. He's obviously trolling Aiden and not taking him seriously. I mean, he obviously did it for the money. I'm not denying that. He could be trolling Aiden, but he got so much hate from it. It makes me think that maybe he was just trying to do a power move and get his money and get out real quick. He was obviously trying to take advantage of the situation. He was saying that he was going to be on it, but then Loki was like trying to get off of it, which also tells me that he didn't want to do it because he, he didn't want to. It tells me he was kind of nervous potentially, or he didn't want to get on stream, even though he agreed to be on stream for the 200K. Because remember, he was super late, like an hour or two. So he might have been nervous, bro. He might, he might just not be good at talking. And most of these rappers are not good at talking. That's why a lot of them don't really do interviews like that. Or when you hear their interviews, in my opinion, a lot of rapper interviews aren't that interesting. And as an artist, you don't really need to be good at talking. You just need to be good at making music. But when you, when you talk too much, it like takes away from like your superpower, your superhero aura that he's got with his fans where like anything he says is literally supreme law in the Cardi constitution. Cardi had multiple interviews before. I know that, but that was before he got super famous. Come on, come on. You know this. It was like, that was before, that was like die lit or self-titled era. He hasn't done shit since whole lot of Ray. And when he does, it's always print so that he can control the narrative. It all makes sense. That's why. So he put, he let Cone, ugh, he let, he let Cone, he let Kenny Lone on Nardwar or they did their own thing. The management decided that was a good idea because Nardwar is going to help them out because that creates content around their careers. However, with Cardi, he just thinks he's too big. And honestly, with the moves he's made lately, you know, like, you don't see Drake on Nardwar anymore. You don't see uh, The Weeknd. You don't see Travis Scott. You don't see artists, artists of that caliber necessarily other than maybe Uzi being on Nardwar. So that's why Cardi's moving that way, you know? You don't see Kanye on Nardwar. Although I feel like he would be hilarious on Nardwar. Just pulled out. He, he'd probably research into Nardwar and find some specific ass information about Nardwar. Being like, Mr. Pickles? And it's like, Nardwar, his eyes start glistening. What's the stuffed animal you fucked when you were like in the closet last night? Because you got a fetish.